Hey bitch, it's me Brett and welcome back to my channel for today's video. My hair is a fucking mess. I don't want to do it because I have to go to the beach. Nonetheless, um, this is my Pat McGrath first impression slash get ready with me. Um, this is going to turn into more like a get ready with me, but yeah. So I asked you guys on Snapchat to screenshot a picture of the Pat McGrath product if you guys want to see a review on it and a lot of you guys screenshotted it. So this is the video. Um, but yeah, so this is my review on the fucking video. By the way, I'll be in LA next week, so if you're watching this, you're, I'll probably be already in LA or whatever, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys keep watching, and I hope you guys like this look that I created. Sorry, my eyebrows is a hot fucking mess. They were not cooperating today, or tomorrow, or yesterday, but yeah. Hey, bitch, it's me, Bretman Rock. What's this behind me, you ask? Oh, that's just my website, bretmanrock.com, where you can get my merch. Not just merch, bitch. You can get makeup bags, headbands in this bitch, some fucking crop tops, anything. Phone cases, anything, bitch. You can get anything at my website, which is at bretmanrock.com. Oh my god, we're not even one minute in the video, and I already got a promo down, bitch. I deserve a pat in the fucking back. But anyways, for this week's video, I decided to do a first impressions video on the new Pat McGrath Metal Morphosis. I honestly don't know why I said metamorphosis. I meant metamorphosis. I don't know how to fucking read. Oh my god. Metamorphosis 05. I do have their highlighters. I have the pink one and the gold one. I don't know their actual names, but I actually like love these so much. As you can see, they're pretty beaten up. Especially this gold one right here. It literally, I was doing my makeup on the airport and... She kind of fell off, or whatever. I've also been reading a lot of your comments where you guys say that I'm not looking at the camera, I'm mostly looking at the viewfinder, which is true. I'm not really used to like looking at this big of a camera, because when I'm on my phone, I'm usually just looking at myself, or whatever, so I'm just looking at the viewfinder most of the time. But on this video, and from now on, I will be trying to look at that camera. Bretman, look at that camera. Anyways, I was in my backyard doing some yoga because I was kind of too lazy to drive to the gym today and I was just trying to get some little bit of workout in. So I was just doing yoga and my auntie was like, Brett, you have a package? And I was like, ah, from. And the whole and behold, it's a Pat McGrath. Metamorphosis. I think that's what it's called. By the way, I already have products on my face. For moisturizer, I have this Kane and Austin um, facial moisture cream. And then for primer, I have the YSL St. Laurent um, primer, whatever it's called. And for foundation today, I actually have two of them mixed. Um, I have the LC foundation. And this is in warm beige. I actually met the owner of LC. She's such a lovely lady. Um, but it's, a, it's too light for me and too red tone. So I kind of have to put the Laura Mercier candle lit. <gasps> candle glow soft luminous foundation. I don't know why I said lit. But yeah, this is in the shade amber and together this wow i don't even really know if i'm catching off like orange on camera but in real life um she's matching or whatever i kind of love how like it looks like skin like uh it looks like skin it looks like my fucking skin so for today's concealer i'm gonna be using the ultra hd from makeup forever um same places we're just gonna put some in the back of our hand use our middle finger to just dot it around our face And you should have something like this, and now we're just going to use a beauty blender to blend everything out. Using the number 3 brush from NYX, um, we're just going to use that to set our foundation. By the way, if you have shit to say about my makeup, shut the fuck up, because I don't care. It's not on your face, it's on mine, and no one, no one put a gun in your head to watch my videos. So if you got shit to say, keep it to yourself. But if you have to comment, just know that I don't give a fuck. Using the Laura Mercier and the Beauty Blender, we're going to be using this to bake the concealer on Apple Face. Oh, what up, what? Thank you. 
Okay, now that you have this bakage going on, I'm just gonna wipe this one off because I don't like this one baking for too long, otherwise it's not a look. So I just like to put a lot and then take it off. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. <laughs> don't even get me started on how long that fucking took me. Like, these brows took me longer than it took me to finish my fucking face. And it literally, uh, it took so long that I had to wipe the bake on top of my forehead, but I'm fine now, but it took so long and they're so uneven because I won't fucking pluck it. But hopefully we can just pretend like they're not uneven, okay? Let's just pretend it's not even. What? Let's just pretend it's not, not even. Yeah. But enough chit-chatting, we're just gonna get straight to the eyes now and... We get to finally open it. <sighs> smells like me. Because it doesn't smell like anything. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab what's inside here. I'm not gonna fucking dump this whole like sequence out, but I'm kind of tempted. But I'm not gonna do it. But I love this packaging, it's so extra, it's so me, it's so Pat McGrath. Ugh, I love her. So, first off, we have the Mayron Mixing Liquids. Mixing Liquid. Yeah. I feel like a fucking YouTuber doing this. Next, we have... Um, this Pat McGrath Lab Black Dual Ended Marker. So I think this is an eyeliner. It's an eyeliner. So this is the first of the four. This is the um, Pat McGrath Labs Co Copper 05. Let's do a finger swatch. <gasps> Bitch. Yes, she did that. Pat McGrath did that. The second color is this gold one. This one is just gold 01. Bitch. She's a little pigmented or whatever. She's a little pigmented. This one is silver. Which kind of intrigues me. I'm probably gonna use this one. Okay, why is it? What? Okay, whatever. This is a different consistency than the other ones. I don't know why. Wait, is there more than. Bitch! <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh I thought I ordered where it's just like the four, like, four of these. But I think I ordered like the other ones too. I don't know what those ones are called. Oh, I did! This is version everything. Oh my god, I forgot I ordered the one with everything in it. I'm so stupid. But, nonetheless, we're gonna continue. This is Pat McGrath Labs Gold. This is the other gold one. Oh wait. I think. Bitch, it should be because I sound so fucking stupid. So, um, this one's just creamier and buttier. Butter, butter, butterer. Is that a fucking word? Butterer? It's like buttery. Butter. Ooh. Okay, now this is the silver one. I'll put it next to the silver one. See ya. As you can tell, they're pro they're fucking the same color, but this is the other copper. I swatched it down here already for you guys. This one's a little bit darker than that copper. Now we're just gonna grab the bronze one. Swatch that. Where can I swatch it? I'll swatch right here. I'm running out of swatch space. So yeah. These two are very similar in color, as you can tell. 
They're both like in the orange tones. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the last. <gasps> it's so hard getting these things off my hands. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the other bronze one, the cream. Hmm. So going over my swatches, I have the gold loose one right here and the cream. And then I have, oh this is harder than I thought. The loose um, silver and the cream. The loose um, copper and the cream. The loose bronze and the cream. So going over the pants one more time, this is gold, cream, and gold. The looser one, that's them. This is the silver cream. And this is the loose silver. That's them. And the packaging is also different for um, both. So this, the uh, the loose ones are on this clear one, and then the cream is on this black. But it has a mirror. So this is the cream bronze and the loose bronze. Lastly, we have the copper cream and the copper pigment. So yeah. And I actually just googled it. These are pigments. I don't know why I kept saying loose. These aren't loose pigments. I guess these are pressed pigments, I guess. So yeah. Now we're going to use the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer on our lids. Using the B10 brush from Morphe, we're going to spread that out evenly, coating our whole entire lid. Now we're going to be taking Kylie's palette and we're taking this color right here as a base color for our eyes. And for anyone that's wondering, I'm using the Morphe M441 brush. You guys use my code BRETMANROCK. It's 10% off your whole entire purchase on morphe.com. It is an affiliation code, so uh, yeah. That, that was just our base color. Now we're gonna take this color right here and we're gonna put that on our the top of our lids only. We're going to be taking Dogman from the Swamp Queen palette by Graveyard Girl. And we're just going to put that a little bit underneath on where we put the first shade. My fake ass camera cut me off but basically blend the Dogman slightly below the crease using a windshield wiper motion. Now time for the fun part. Today we're going to be using Bronze Pigment from Pat McGrath. I love this shade. So I watched a video on Instagram on how they use these pigments and basically um, what I saw was she scrapes some off onto like a... What is this called? Tray? And then she took some of the mixing medium and then she... Mixed it. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on camera before I mix all of it together. So I don't think you really need that much like mixing medium because they do give like a small amount and I figured you don't really need that much anyway so yeah. Wow, okay. I did add a few more drops because it did dry up the fans like facing me. So we're just gonna take a packing brush and we're just gonna apply this on our lid to make a halo effect. I'm gonna use my finger because I saw Pat McGrath using her fingers, so I started using my finger. <gasps> I feel like it comes on better. It's not more foiled. Do you see this? Do you see the comparison? With your finger, it comes out more foiled. Damn, she's a pro for a reason. That's all I got to say. Fuck brushes. Yes! This is so fun. Like, I'm actually having fun while I'm doing makeup. Like, what the fuck? Of course, going back to Dog Man, we're gonna blend the edges. This is so foiled, you guys. Like, like literally, I'm scared. She's a little cute. She's getting there. She's a cute girl. She's a cute girl. Just because this is so much fun, I think I'm gonna make a gold one too. Okay, that's the gold one? No, I don't We're gonna take our pinky and we're gonna put that in the center to make a real halo effect.
Now we're just gonna finish underneath the eyes, and of course, we're going back to the roots. And we're putting this all over the bottom. We're taking Dogma, and we're putting that only on the outer edges of the eyes. I'm gonna dip this liner brush inside this, and I'm gonna pick up some of this. We're putting this like right across the eye and stopping where you put the Dogman shade. Take some of the gold and we're gonna put it in the beginning part and stopping like right in the middle. Something like that. Once the pigment dry, we're just gonna take the same brush and we're gonna blur the edges so we don't have like harsh lines. And since I'm feeling it, we're gonna use the Pat McGrath highlighter, the gold one, for the center of our eyes. And we're just gonna pop like a dash on top of our brow. So I went ahead and put on mascara and wiped up all my bake. And now we're just gonna finish up the face, pop on some lips, lashes, and call it a look. To contour and bronze, we're gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Press Powder. <sighs> HD and we're gonna be taking warm caramel and for blush we're gonna be using this color called flushed from the K-pop collection I haven't really used this that much we still put on that man. So before we're highlighting our face, we're gonna spray Fix Plus just so that the highlighter sticks better to our face. We're just gonna let that dry. Now we're gonna take this So Hollywood highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I can't believe the wait is finally over. Like they're finally releasing them again. They're restocking finally. I saw it on the Anastasia page the other day. I don't know when exactly, but I just know they're restocking. So if you did not get your hands on this shit, I'm sorry, bitch, but stop, stop fucking around. So I love how this is so gold. It kind of matches the look. So that's why I went with it. And I didn't want it to look too gold because I didn't want it to overpower my fucking work. I know, bitch. Told you. Who are you guys' favorite like YouTube gurus, Instagram gurus, or like beauty gurus in general? One of my favorite is Sandra Deluxe. Ugh. I've been following her forever. And I just love her look. She kind of looks like a fucking fierce alien. Like I love her. Ugh, she's so cute. If she's not a look to you, then are you even looking? I'm kind of torn on what lip shade to use because I could use this one and Pumpkin Pie from the new Jeffree Star Holiday Collection or I could use the Designer Blood from his Holiday Collection. Okay, bitch, I don't know how I want to do this. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna juggle it and the first one that drops, I ain't gonna use her. So I guess we're gonna be using Designer Blood. My lips are uneven, you guys. Like, it's so disgusting how uneven it is when I have lipstick on. Okay, I worked really hard on the lips. And if it's uneven, then kiss my ass. Just for fun, we're gonna take some of this and we're gonna pop it on our Cupid's bow. Oh, that's so cute. It's time for lashes, and I thought that the new Bounce and Bellas would be a cute look for this. So you guys can use my code BRETMAN for 20% off your entire purchase on newbouncing.com. It should pop up right here. You guys can screenshot it if you are on your phone so you guys can save it. But nonetheless, all of my links will be down below. So we're just gonna pop these on, and I'm gonna be right back. I just sprayed some Urban Decay setting spray and I'm off to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My, my first impressions of the new Pat McGrath products. I loved all of them so much. I didn't really get um, 
much play time with the cream because I didn't really know how to use it. I didn't know how to use it. I hope you guys, and nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do recommend, when you're applying these, I do recommend using your finger or some sort of like flat padding tool instead of like a brush because it does come on like more foily, I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next week. I'm finally getting used to like, I just forgot to look at the camera again. But I'm finally getting used to like talking to the camera or the viewfinder. Hey, hello, viewfinder people. Hello, camera people. Thank you so much for watching. All my social media is at Bretman Rock. BretmanRock.com is where you can get my merch. Instagram, Bretman Rock. Snapchat, Bretman Rock. Instagram, Bretman Rock. And Bretman's Vanity, which is my makeup page. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you. I keep saying thank you so much for watching, but yeah, bye!